So this is a little Stesco we're going to wrap today in the crocodile print. I'm also going to show you a few things about preparation on an older style boat. Let's get into it. Older boats need a little bit more of attention in the preparation side of things. Brand new boats, you pretty much just give them a clean over with the isopropyl and you're ready to go. But older boats that have been in, in and around the water for a while, they've had stickers on them, on and removed, you're going to have to do some body prep. So the body prep would be obviously remove the graphics, the, the old ones. Then there's going to be glue residue, you need to use something to get that off and wipe it off, sand it. Um, so with sanding, wet and dry, just you don't need anything too coarse, this is about a 200. Yeah, I think it's about 220 wet and dry, and I use a scotch bright. First of all, you use the wet and dry to go around all of your presses. Any angle changes, creases, whatever you've got in your boat, you need to sand them so they're nice and shiny again. Around the perimeters, any other folds, and along your bottom well. So after we have cleaned down the boat, sanded it, got it really nice and clean, ready for wrapping, then we use a knifeless tape. Now that goes around the entire perimeter of the boat. Get it close, just down from the well. And we go around the whole boat, putting this on. The reason why we put that on is that when we're, after we put the wrap on, we just pull out the filament, pull that through, and it cuts the wrap for us. We don't use knives on any of your boats. Okay, now here comes the fun part. Let's put the wrap on. We've put it on, it's just kind of hanging there. Well, it's uh, quite top, tight between the gunnel rail and the chine at this stage. I've lined it up nicely to all the edges where the graphics are supposed to be. And my first initial one is to lock on the center. And then once I know that's there, I'll just move forward a bit in sort of semi-circular sort of motions, pushing excess material up to the front. And when I go back, I'll push this excess material to the back and out to the sides. You can see that bottom edge there, I'll wipe down to that bottom edge. You can see it's building up material there, that way we just pop it off, pull it out again. So really, you wouldn't really need to use a heat gun for this whole entire boat except when you're doing the last thing. Or you up at the bow and they might use a little bit. Because we don't want to stretch the film, once we've got it locked in place, which is fine, that's on the boat, I actually pop it off the top there and work it up into that top crease. And the reason why I don't start from the top and work down, because you wind up with a, it shifts too much. So that's why I start in the middle, wipe forward, wipe back, work up, work down. Keeps it straight. 